now we are reviewing our homework 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 <coughs> we already what are you doing for mother earth did we have that already no. huh no. so this is a question very practical question what are you doing for mother earth <coughs> Are you using soap which is biodegradable or not? Are you making sure there's no paper, no plastic unnecessarily used? Are you strictly against plastic bags, always carrying with you a cloth carry bag so that when you have to carry some item you have your bag? Do you utilize the bicycle or walk whenever possible rather than jumping in the car to go three blocks down the road? What are you doing for Mother Earth? Are you member, active member of the Spoon Revolution? Do you make more ministries of so more people become vegetarians? <clears throat> Do you support the World Conscious Pact? Are you actively involved to get people more more conscious about everything to make this world a better place. You see, oida therapy is actually an environmental movement. It's actually meant to raise the consciousness in the people to make this world a more loving place. And you can't love everybody if you don't love the origin of everybody. If you think everything is an accident and we can do whatever we like in this world, well then you will not have a great chance change of consciousness so what are you doing for mother earth are you uh, signing petitions on the internet to protect the natural regions of the world do you are you do you know anything about organic agriculture are you trying to support those who are growing organically by making a corporation so that we buy organic uh, vegetables you know the things are very serious I must say you in India they're using for agriculture something called oxy oxytocin oxytocin is a hormone a gross hormone it's actually something which is very 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 poisonous it has proven already to make people very sick creating mental disorders <coughs> but it makes the vegetables grow bigger. They also use it in the milk production. That's where it actually came from. It's like a, an estrogen, which is like making boost the growth. You see, there are certain things you can do in this world which you shouldn't do, but you can do. I mean, there's all kinds of things. The people are uh, experimenting with themselves and with others and and we are actually in favor of the natural lifestyle. We want to do the most healthy and perfect things. So this, this question you should really ask yourself, and you shouldn't only ask this to yourself one time. You should ask yourself that every day. What am I doing for Mother Earth? Am I part of the problem? Even the non-devotees talk about this subject. They're, say, they're calling that the carbon footprint. What are you doing about your carbon footprint? What are you doing about your amount of problem? But we, of course, we take it a little bit more deeper and more personal. Say, hey, what are you are doing for more love to be spread, for more people to understand and to take care of all the beautiful things God has given to us. So, yes, this is, this is basically what it's all about. We need to establish a great responsibility in connection with Mother Earth. And I am very grateful that you are in this spirit because this is what we have learned from our Acharyas, that we should be very cautious. You know this Mother Earth is being abused by our lifestyle. Our modern lifestyle is not very healthy for Mother Earth. So what are we going to do about it? Just go on, just let the whole thing go down the drain? Or start acting in one way or another to make some changes? And 
you know, we as devotees, we actually, we actually live in such a simple way that our carbon footprint is already very low, but it can be lower. Especially if we stop using any kind of plastic in our environment, as much as we can avoid it, then our carbon footprint is improved. So, anyhow, this is for today. What are you doing for Mother Earth? And I think we missed out one. Did we miss out one day? On the, on the homework? No, after what we, we made, who, sh who could be worshipped? Maybe you were not there, but then how to worship the deities? We also made that number 18. You were not there at that point when we, when we said this, but I remember last time I was up here, I was reading these two. So we are, uh, anyway, we can do another one for today. So number 20. Has there been any time in your life that you felt that you were utilized as an instrument of God? Has there been any time in your life when you felt that you are an instrument of God, that God is utilizing you for something? Write this down. This is very important. In che momento has sentido que fuiste utilizado como un instrumento de Dios? This this is so important because this, when you when you think about that, you really really start realizing how dear we are all to Krishna, and how much Krishna is looking after us, and how much we have to do the things the way Krishna likes. Because only by doing things in life as Krishna likes, we will be happy. And we will have a chance to make others happy. So please take this into consideration. Number 20, in what moment have you felt that you are utilized as an instrument of Krishna. Of course, we, we wish to be utilized as an instrument of Krishna's love, but sometimes we may also feel like we are an instrument of... Parsa Sarati, you don't have to run around, you just stand there with a stick, this is, this is enough. And you look great, you look like a, like a real guardian, you know? <laughs> And surely you are impressive to our monkey population. <laughs> huh? So, so this, so we have reached number twenty in this of our homework. I really hope you have a lot of fun with your homework, because this homework will have a great impact on your spiritual advancement. This is what it, it was designed in such a way that, <coughs> that we will make spiritual progress by doing so. I was requested to make another purge for the abuse of internet and Facebook. I was requested to do so. Is somebody typing? No, no. Anyhow, let me first offer my respect to the Shima Bhagavatam. Today we are reading from the prayers of Queen Kunti. Bhavesmin klishyamananam avidya kama karma bi shravanas madanarhani kadishyan iti kechana. First canto, chapter 8, text number 35. Queen Kunti says, 
and yet others say that you appeared to rejuvenate the devotional service of hearing, remembering and worshipping and so on in order that the conditioned soul suffering for material pangs might take advantage and gain liberation. Srila Prabhupada explains. In the Srima Bhagavatam, the Lord asserts that He appears in every millennium just to re-establish the way of religion. The way of religion is made by the Supreme Lord. No one can manufacture a new path of religion as is the fashion by certain ambitious persons. The factual way of religion is to accept the Lord as the supreme authority and thus render service unto Him in spontaneous love. A living being cannot help but render service because He is constitutionally made for that purpose. The only function of the living being is to render service to the Lord. The Lord is great and living beings are subordinate to Him. Therefore, the duty of the living being is just to serve Him only. Unfortunately, the illusioned living beings, out of misunderstanding only, became servants of the senses by material desire. This desire is called avidya or nescience. <coughs> And out of such desire, the living beings make different plans for material enjoyment centered about a perverted sex life. He therefore becomes entangled in the chain of birth and death by transmigrating into different bodies on different planets under the direction of the Supreme Lord. Unless, therefore, one is beyond the boundary of this nescience. One cannot get free from the threefold miseries of material life. That is the law of nature. The Lord, however, out of His causeless mercy, because He is more merciful to the suffering living beings than they can expect, appears before them and renovates the principles of devotional service comprised of hearing, chanting, remembering, serving, worshipping, praying, cooperating and surrendering unto Him. Adoption of all the above mentioned items or any one of them can help a conditioned soul get out of the tangle of nations and thus become liberated from all material sufferings created by the living being illusion by the external energy. This particular type of mercy is bestowed upon the living beings by the Lord in the form of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Queen Kunti Ki Jai, Sankitan Yagya Ki Jai, Temple Life Ki Jai, <coughs> Worship of the Deities Ki Jai, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Ki Jai, The Devotional Service Ki Jai, Nations, Avidya, and how to get out of Avidya. Nitai Gouda Premanandi Haribon Sri Harinam Sankirtan Yagya Kinjai Namam Vishnu Badaya Krishna Bastaya Bhutani Sri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namani Namaste Saraswati Devi Gaudavani Pracharine Nirvishe Shashunyavati Paskatya Dejatari Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Goda Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare 
Oh Govinda, oh Govinda, Srila Prabhupada, you're so kind. Queen Kunti is so kind, you know. If you look carefully on all the messages coming from the Vedas, like this verse we are reading today, this is a perfect example. <coughs> you immediately understand that we have to shape up. They say shape up or ship out. Something like this. Meaning either you do it or you're going to be lost. So tell me please, who is calling upon our attention in this way? Where? In the schools? Doing the schools, they request you to follow any kind of principles. In the universities, do the teachers have some principles or some higher conception how to be spiritually focused and clear? Just tell me that. Where? Do you ever turn on the television and it tells you smoking will make you sick and dumb? Where and when are we called upon for developing higher qualities? I mean, this is education in its truest sense of the word. Peace education, love education, value education, non-violence education. Hmm? What is it really? What is it what we need to cultivate? And who will help us to do so? This is, is this such a crucial question. I mean, Japananda, he was brought up in a well family, going to best schools of Mallorca, business school, everything. Did ever somebody really preach to you against smoking marijuana? Or against drinking whiskey? I couldn't find deeper meanings of life anywhere there. This is amazing, you know. Even the Christians, they know it's wrong, but they don't speak against it. <coughs> Maybe in Catholic high school they tell you, not to have sex before marriage. Maybe. Maybe. If there's nuns who are the teachers. <laughs> but otherwise, who's telling the kids not to have sex? No, they tell the kids, have sex with this pill or with this thing or with that thing. And then you can enjoy sex and no problem. And here, we are hearing such a wonderful thing, such a safety, so much safety, so much care. It's like the Bhagavatam is going, come here, my baby, sit down, be careful, life is dangerous, you should watch it, don't be cheated, don't let people run after you to do this and this and this and that. The world is the world of cheaters, but the Bhagavatam is against cheating. It starts off with Dharma Project Kaitavatra Nirmat Sadhanam. Reject all the cheating. Any cheating, reject it. If any man wants to have anything to do with you and he doesn't want to marry you, then he's a cheater. If somebody wants to enjoy you without providing protection for you. He's a cheater. But the world is full of cheaters. <coughs> People they say marriage is useless. They say we are now following something. We are trying to find 
temporary life companion. Because marriage means from now on half of my property is yours. Otherwise, don't propose to touch me. Hmm? Well, if you want to have a wife, that's what the wife is all about. She's your life partner. So as a life partner, how are you going to say, your life partner for, you mean you're my free employee? <laughs> you work for me and that's all. What, what is it? Or you want to pay your wife a salary for her cooking and for her for her washing your diapers your socks huh? want to pay her a salary of course many people are afraid about this if I marry this woman and she's gonna own half of what I have then the next moment she's gonna go to court and she's gonna get go I'm divorcing this man he treated me bad now I will stay with 50% of his properties. We have heard about cases like this, right? So, it's like a risky thing. Even getting married is maybe the most risky thing, especially if you're rich. Because then you're risking that somebody's marrying not you, but the money you have. Is it? What is the relationship? Is it for the money? Is it for the sex? Is it for the fame? Is it for the security? Is it for the affection? What it is all about? These are valid questions, you know. Most valid questions. <coughs> we, we, we hear it every day. Every day in this world this kind of struggle is going on. <clears throat> People divorce, my God. What a mess. And then comes the worst of the story, the children. Now the children are mine or yours? <laughs> and the little boy or little girl in between the parents, each one takes an arm. No, it's mine, no, it's mine, no, it's mine. The children. <laughs> What a horrible thing. Let's ask, anybody of you has experienced such a thing in his life? Lift your hands if you have experienced this, that your parents were fighting about you. You see, almost half of us have gone through that. Well, maybe in our case it was good, so we took shelter of Krishna the one who is, will protect us. But what a thing, you know, you're between of two people are fighting about who you belong to. Or the husband runs off and don't give any money to the wife. Let the woman look alone after the children. Oh God. Oh Krishna. So Queen Kunti, she's really, really giving us motherly advice. Prabhupada's purport? Come, my son and daughters, be careful. <clears throat> Where do you get such information? Where do you get such good guidelines for your life? Honestly speaking, that's why I'm staying here for all these years in Krishna consciousness because there's nothing else like that. that nobody else gives you this kind of advice and in South America we made it into what we call the the advice of Vedic wisdom and we have 162 different I was speaking the other way other day about it 162 different advices so people can actually go in this subject this subject this subject because it's not only four regulative principles we need advice about. We need advice about practically more than hundreds of topics. <coughs> and this advice is necessary. 
You know, when our kids become addicted to sugar, then they're going to eat sugar like anything and they're going to get diseases in the future. Because the parents could not counteract the publicity of the sugar industry. The sugar industry knows the more sugar people eat, the more addicted they are to sugar. Who's addicted to sugar? Please lift up your fingers. <laughs> You're not? Huh? You overcame it? I'm also fighting it. But I cannot deny that when there's something sweet and I put it on my tongue, it's going. It's a sweet drug and not healthy. What is big of white sugar? White sugar is stupid. Only stupid people use white sugar, so I'm also stupid because I sometimes eat something that give me this white sugar inside. Because at that moment, I feel more attracted to the taste than to, hey, this is white sugar, I shouldn't touch it. Somebody gives. And of course, in India, it's more difficult because the Mahaprasad and in the temples, no? they, they have all over the Mahaprasad. Because in the past, everything was made by gore. This is just like the plastic. The people throw away the plastic like they used to throw away the leaf cup plates. So in the same way, they, as they used the gore in the past, so then they uh, started using the white sugar. They were not informed. White sugar it seems to be more practical, more easy to manage in many things, but is not good brown sugar or gore is the best and you can produce just as wonderful delicious things it is completely nonsense to think that you need white sugar it's only in industry